Okay, got the shop up to a nice working temperature. 33 outside, snow flurries off and on. Walk you over here to the uh, mechanical area. I've managed to get the uh, second magnet sign up on the wall. I got it wired, it's all bolted down. Got the MB uh, MXD box installed. Now I'm looking around for enough material to straighten this out. I want to have a nice straight run coming. When I installed this, I only used uh, number eight wire because that's what I could find. It calls for number six, so I'm going to be taking this all out. And as soon as I'm ready to do that, I'm going to shut the system down, go on the generator, get inside here, and wire this system up, and hopefully have this all done in a couple hours. So I got all my books and instructions and meters and few, uh, breakers. So here we go. I'll be back in a little while. A lot more to come. Okay, it's about four and a half hours later. I just shut down my original Predator 2500 watt that they don't sell anymore. I've had that thing for years. I just give it about a five hour workout. This is how far I've got. I've got the new two inch pipe come in because that's all I could find. Got the Ford battery four feed cables all matched up sized correctly I have the uh, number one breaker labeled slave this will be the slave inverter up here if that's the master I didn't get to do any with running of that wire this stuff hasn't changed from previous today I had to make this little piece right here that little band was missing I had to make one out of a piece of uh, steel laying around that took about 20 minutes but other than that, I'm up and running. And tomorrow's another day. And there'll be more to show tomorrow. That's it for now. I'll be back tomorrow. Work on it. Let's finish this up. Over and out for now. Okay, today is uh, Thursday. I'm in at about uh, two and a half hours so far today. I've got pretty much everything rerouted, rewired. I had to do a lot of rewiring inside this box and put extra breakers in and put them in the right position and I checked everything three times. I'm about to take the panels off, hook up the uh, DC positive cables and one negative and then I'm going to go through the uh, startup procedure and check, uh, make sure they're both talking together and working together. And then after that I can set my parameters, tell them what the slave inverter number one when to come on and I'll be running primarily off the master inverter for my needs, that'll be plenty. Now I'll crack open the door a little bit and the generator is running outside so I can have lights in here. I've also installed over there in the ground another 660 watts of solar. But I think I'm going to move it from that position. Anyway. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it was going to, plus I put those more panels up. So I'll be back here in a little while and hopefully this uh, test goes well and everything works. Alright, more to come, I'll be back. Okay, I got the panels back off. I got the DC wiring uh, all connected. Checked everything one more time, make sure all the cables are in their proper places. And I'm now going to go through the book and do the uh, first start sequence and run all the tests. And then set the parameters and I'll be back when it's uh, back together. And then by this evening this should be up and running and I'm just going to come in here and finish cleaning up all the rest of these wires, tuck them all the way where they need to be. That looks a whole lot better than the other system I had. Alright, I'll be back shortly, I hope. Okay, success. All functionality tests passed, AC by bypass passed, AC in passed, everything's working. We're running right now off uh, master inverter. All I have to do now is uh, set my parameters, date, time, charging functions, uh, when to turn on the uh, slave inverter. P1 is the master. P2 is a slave in standby. Everything's working. I just got to get back out here 
and uh, set everything all up again. And I managed to lose one screw. I'm sure I'll find it when I start cleaning up all this mess I've created. And as usual, this takes a lot longer than you think it's going to. Plus when I do this, I gotta shut my home down. All right, well that's it. That's the twin Magnusine install. She is up and running. I'm happy, that was a big job and I'm glad it's done. So there it is. I feel a whole lot better having two inverters. Tons of power, if one goes down I got a backup. Fantastic. Alright, that's it. Over and out. Thanks for watching.